Hey creators, welcome to our How Filmora is Better Than CapCut series second video. Filmora 14 brought some cool AI features for all the creative folks. Filmora 14 offers powerful AI tools and features, which makes it stand out from other video editors. Today, we will cover two essential features in Filmora that make it better than CapCut. Keep watching. Before we begin, if you haven't already installed Wondershare Filmora, please visit the official website and download the latest version. Then, install it on your computer. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our upcoming videos. The first key difference between Filmora and CapCut is the effects library. Filmora offers more than 1,000 effects for all types of videos. And on the other hand, CapCut offers only less than 400 effects. Filmora has made it super easy to find effects by organizing them into three different categories. The first one is video effects, which features over 20 subfolders filled with all sorts of goodies. From basic effects to fun ones like shake, zoom, flicker, glitch, retro, and more, there's something for everyone. Each folder contains more than 20 effects, so you'll have plenty of options to choose from. The second option is all about body effects. This section includes over 10 subfolders, each filled with a variety of fun effects for your video. The best part? These effects are designed specifically for the person or people featured in your video. The third one's all about audio effects. These cool features can enhance your sound or even respond to the music you're playing. You can use voice change to have some fun with your voice. The audio drive effect really grooves with the beats of your music, while the audio visualizer and particles rhythm dance along with the tunes. It's a great way to add some flair to your audio experience. Filmora also offers third-party plugins, Boris FX and New Blue FX. You can use these effects to take your editing skills to the next level. All effects are very easy to apply. Just drag and drop the effect onto your footage or on a new track, and then from settings, adjust the effects opacity or other settings. One of the key differences between Filmora and CapCut is how they handle transitions. Transitions are like the magic that helps your video flow smoothly from one scene to the next, making it visually appealing. Filmora shines here, offering over 500 transitions. You'll find all sorts of styles like fade, dissolve, zoom, slide, VFX, and even fun options like glitch and particles. With 18 different subcategories, there's a transition for all types of videos you want to create. Whether it's a professional corporate video, a casual vlog, a how-to guide, or a DIY project, Filmora has you covered. On the flip side, CapCut has fewer than 100 transitions. So if you're looking for a vast and exciting selection, Filmora might be the way to go. In Filmora, using transitions is quite simple. Simply drag and drop the transition on the intersection of two clips. And then from the transition setting, adjust the duration or use different transitioning modes like prefix, overlay, and postfix. Download or update your Filmora version from the link in the description and get your hands on these awesome features. If you found this helpful, give us a big thumbs up and share it with your fellow creators and editors. If you're interested in visual effects and tutorials, check out filmora.wondershare.com. See you in the next video.